welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica. Today I just want to kind of take you around the house as and run some errands as I just get some stuff done. And I hope that I can motivate you if it's just one thing on your list to get in there and get it done. I had some overwhelming daunting things in this video. All of my Valentine's takedown uh, and packing up and then I have my uh, wood wall that I was working on in the entry and then we had, when I tell you we had dust, we had dust everywhere from the cutting of the wood. But, um, so it just seemed very daunting to get in and get this done, but I did it and I'm super happy. The house is back to just being nice and beautiful and feeling, you know, grateful and prideful. And now when you walk in, you know, my, my home, I'm not like, oh my God, don't, don't look here, don't look there. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope I can motivate you to get some stuff done. Had some errands to run, so if you've got errands, get out there and go do it. Um, I've got a fun find to share with you um, towards the end that I found on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm gonna show you and go over the actual finished wood wall in my entry. So other than painting, the entry is done and I am absolutely in love with it. So let's go ahead, let's get on our list and let's get in and just get some stuff done. I did a lot of bad things and never did I give in just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. Packing up different decor, especially if you have a lot out. If you don't have very much out, I, I assume it's probably just a very easy task. You put some things in a bin and you're good to go. You know, what I always do is I put everything from that season out on my dining room table or in one spot, like all of the in the dining room. And I just like to have everything there. That way it's I'm not running around the house packing up, you know, different things. I just bring everything to the dining room table. And in some holidays, most holidays, <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's a lot of stuff and it's overwhelming. Um, but just, you know, just get started. Like with anything, with organizing or cleaning, if you can just clean 
one corner. You know what I mean? Clean one corner. And then tomorrow, clean another corner or another area. Or, you know, if it's like I'm stressed out, the kitchen is such a mess, just do the dishes. And then tomorrow, clean the counters. Just take a step by step if you get overwhelmed. It's okay. I got in and got everything packed up and, and ready to go outside to the garage. I had a huge, huge mess in the dining room. Obviously, you know, little things from the decor, sparkles, all that kind of stuff. But we had a abundant amount of dust from um, all the sanding and the uh, cutting of the wood. So I had to bring out the big guns. I needed, you know, my big dusters, my uh, the little duster, uh, you know, cleaning off the table, cleaning the chairs, cleaning everything in there. So it was a good time to really get in and deep clean the dining room, especially since we're going to be getting ready with uh, Easter decor real soon. Just maybe we can dress in clouds and suns. Maybe, just maybe. Why the fuck? 
walked into the room Think I knew right then that it was always you Something in your eyes, it was all so true Every step I took, they all led to you We were young and running free We were never meant to be But I could not see you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute So come on with me. I'm going to the car wash. I'm getting gas. I'm going to Target. Um, just had to do some, you know, the car was crazy dirty after coming back from California. Um and you know needing gas and then gonna go ahead and go pick up some things for for making the dogs food and just check and see what target's got and i will love you in the dark and if you ever fall out please don't leave me out cause i will love you till i'm gone if you just hold on Just hold on. So I wanted to show you guys this fun piece I just picked up uh, from Facebook Marketplace. And I'm so excited. I I had this cute little, this is used to be a, a church pew. It's an antique church pew. And I love it. Sorry for the echo. I meant the front. Um, I loved this here, but I just, the, the pots that were here were falling apart. And so I, my idea is to have this here, you know, put some cute pillows and a, and a little throw on here and then decorate, you know, the front here, like I always do with the wreath and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted this for, you know, can you imagine like, well, first will be the spring with all the, the, you know, Easter, like an Easter bunny up on top and just all decked out or like at Christmas time. It's an inside piece. Yes, I do know that, but I, it's all, you know, undercover and everything. So I just think this is going to be fabulous. I am so excited. 
it's a, a nice strong piece I mean it does move but I mean it's a strong piece not that I'll be using these but it's got drawers but you know like maybe I could keep some things out here that I use to decorate um, I don't know like all of my uh, you know the the little command hooks and stuff that we use for all the the decorating out here anyhow excuse me I am just over the moon the moon for this I just love this and I'm thinking you know that this could probably be painted or something you know I mean it's not that it looks awful but everything up here is kind of like the black and white gray you know and and the chairs I just feel like I don't know it, I'm not sure if that looks good to me anymore plus it could use a, a good stain or paint or something anyhow but how I'm so excited how fabulous does this look Could, I can't wait to decorate this for Easter this is going to be so fun my mom is fighting me she saw it she said she she thinks it looks awful here. It should be downstairs in her stuff, but you know, it's staying. But yes, anyhow, my my tip to you is if you're looking for something, I just was like, you know what? I I feel like a hutch or something for the front would be really cool. And of course, I don't want to go spend a lot of money, so I looked on Facebook Market and I just kept scrolling down and this was way way down. This was like a week old. It'd been up there. And they had it for $160 originally, took it down to $100, and then I saw it and fell in love with it and asked if they would take $80, and she said, sure, and we picked it up yesterday, and I'm just so excited. So always check, you know, Facebook Market, offer up, garage sales, all that kind of stuff, because you never know, you might find a gem for a lot less, even if it wasn't the color you wanted, like if you wanted black, you could paint this, you know what I mean? Um, or you wanted a bright color, whatever, you could paint, it, even if it's not like the color you want, you could do so much to it. You could even, you know, it could be even fun to put like a wallpaper on the backing and paint it another color or whatever. I mean, just you, I guess my point is be, use your imagination, you know, and, and find a piece. I paid $80 for this and this is going to serve all year round and I can just already see 4th of July all you know what I mean Christmas all that kind of stuff decorating up here and it's gonna be so cute so tip of the day make sure you check uh, secondhand goodwill any of that kind of stuff before you go buy regular price Okay, so the final reason why this video took so long, why I missed my Wednesday upload, we finished the wood wall and I'm so in love. I'm going to show you right up here. Unfortunately, there's not one wall in this house that is level, <laughs> um, but I just keep my eyes down here. <laughs> 
but, but I absolutely love it. It has such a beautiful texture. Um, we did a nice trim. Let me get closer so you can see. We did a nice trim all the way around. Um, we also, I showed this in my last video, but what we did is we came out through here and trimmed out the ceiling niche. And I'm in love, absolutely in love. Painted the air vent, so it just kind of, it just blends right into there. But, and then on this side, because it was a little difficult, we sanded it way down, We're, we've got painting to do, and then uh, we painted it and put like a wood putty around so that it finishes it off because it's kind of an odd, you know, with the circular, it was kind of hard to finish that off. But I am just absolutely in love with this piece on the wood. Um, got my neutral decor out until you know I start doing my Easter but this is what we're still we are still haven't done our family pictures <laughs> that we were supposed to do Christmas cards with so Christmas cards didn't happen this year with this family um, but anyhow this these are just IKEA frames they're gold but uh, there is, well, there was five, but one is broken. Um, that's what's going to go up here is uh, this year's family pictures. So that's why I kind of have them sitting up there because that's going to be the look. And I'm just, I, I'm just so excited. We're actually supposed to be doing the family pictures next, next weekend. Um, baby shower on Saturday and pictures on Sunday. <laughs> it's going to be a busy weekend. But I mean, is this just not gorgeous against this texture, these different textures? You know, the biggest thing I can tell you on design for your home is finding something like this that you can do that brings texture, that brings kind of life to your home. You know what I mean? It's not just a plain wall that you just put a picture up on. If you can find some ways to bring in texture, it's going to make your home just that much more special and, you know, kind of just give that look of wow uh, factor for not a lot of money. Um, wallpapers, wood walls, brick. Um, I'm going to be refreshing in my uh, laundry room and we're actually using a peel and stick tile looking backsplash and I want to give you guys these ideas so that you can you know what I mean if you're trying to update your home or the look of it it's not you know what I mean you're not spending thousands of dollars on new tile and then deciding you don't like it or you know what have you you know we change our minds you know and uh but you can have that and in a much more economical way. But I am just in awe of this entry. I'm absolutely loving it. We do need to paint. Um, I am gonna, you know, paint. We're just gonna kind of take a room at a time and, you know, figure it all out. But I think the first will be in here um, and then down the hallway probably. But, I just wanted to showcase this because I just absolutely love how it turned out and the difference in just having that. And then think of, you know, just kind of picture these picture frames up here and just obviously I'll move that down. But I mean, just a soft, the pictures themselves are going to be kind of deserty background, you know, world neutrals and stuff with those gold frames is going to be so gorgeous and I just think this piece pops so much more on that wood wall I'm really 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 happy with it and so I'm glad it took me a little bit longer to finish this video but you know give you some really really good ideas um, now he bought these he didn't 
you know, he didn't finish it off anything. It was exactly like this. All we did was cut to size, um, nail gun them in, nail them, whatever. Um, there was no glue. We didn't glue them down. We just nailed them. Um, and then the trim pieces, he bought already white. Um, you know what I mean? And just cut them down to size. Um, what took longer is that I had other things and I couldn't, I mean, I only had so many days with him, so it just took a little bit longer, but I feel like this could have been a full weekend, you know, do it yourself type of job, at least for the wall. This was separate. You know what I mean? Like this took a little bit longer doing the, doing the, um, doing all of the the cutting and everything and then he did caulking around just to make sure everything you know looked seamless so that is it on this project and i'm loving it and i will update you guys when we do get the pictures and we do have them up here so you see what it looks like okay that's gonna do it i hope that i gave you some motivation that you enjoyed this video and just kind of getting some stuff done, you know? It's not get it all done because we never, any of us ever get it all done, right? Once we get our list done, then there's another list to get in there and get done. But um, I do hope that I gave you some motivation and just gave you some ideas or, you know, maybe you've been thinking about what can I do in, in a certain room and I gave you an idea and you're like, that's it, that's what I wanna do. That's my goal. I, I am just wanting to, you know, in helping my creativity and getting my creati creativity out, um, I'm hoping that I'm just giving you guys some great ideas and inspiration to do and to keep your home uh, as beautiful as it can be and to just create that happy place. That is what this is. My home is my sanctuary. Of course, it is when it's bustling and full of everybody, it is just life. But just on a day-to-day -day basis, basis, it is my sanctuary. And I want to help you create your sanctuary. And no matter what kind of house you have, or what it looks like, or whatever, if you just take pride in it and make it your, your sanctuary, it will be so much better. So, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure and subscribe, turn your notifications on. Uh, hit all so that you're always notified like this week was kind of crazy because I was out uh, was out of my schedule I usually post on Wednesdays but if you have your notification you'll be notified anytime I am posting a video so have a great day and I will see you in the next one bye I just had to share this this little story or this beautiful little little pop of joy that happened to me uh, just the other day just I think it was yesterday or the day before out of nowhere my daughter sent a beautiful beautiful um, bouquet and card and it just absolutely made my day and honestly it did so much more for me because not to go into, you know, make a short story long, uh, but I was a single mom for all of my kids' life. Um, their dad was really, unfortunately, not in their, their life um, very much, and then did come back into their life uh, as they were older, just a little bit, and, um, and then left again. But, you know, when you're a single parent, and you're dealing, you know, with everything, like everything's on you, right? Um, the good and the bad. Um, you question yourself and you, you question, you know, are you doing a good job? Did today, did I miss them up too bad? I mean, I think as parents, we, we think that anyhow, but when you're on your own and you're making all those decisions and all of, you know, all of it on your own and, and it's all on you, I think there's a, a great deal more of pressure. And I'm just amazed at the children, the people. You know, having kids is not just about having a baby and, oh, aren't they cute, and let's take pictures, and you know what I mean, let's dress them up and they're so cute. That's a part of it, of course. 
but the bigger part of having a child is knowing that you are raising capable, good, uh, loving people, you know, that are going to be a success into society. And I just am so grateful that my kids are just amazing people. And, um, and, and this, just this bouquet, I mean, this card, it just, you know, signified everything for me and phone calls that I have with my son and my daughter and, talks that we have now, I just know, it just solidifies that I did, I did a good job. I did a, I did a great job because you know what? They're great people. And maybe somebody out there is struggling in their parenthood as you know, with small kids right now. And I just wanted to put that out there that, you know what, at some point it all comes together and you get that, that, sense that you did the most amazing job and they're great people. So keep it up, moms and dads. You know what? If you haven't heard it or you need to hear it today, you are doing an amazing job.